Hello, Virgo. This message is for you for December 15th through the 31st. And if my reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. Okay, Virgo, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you, thank you for your support. I appreciate you. Now let's get into this. What do we have for Virgo? Workaholic. Okay, you're working hard. At the bottom, we have a miracle. Okay, what are you doing, Virgo? We have spirit of gratitude. Yeah, take time out to give thanks for your situation. And at the bottom, you have great and full. So yeah, I feel like your life is full at the moment. You, <laughs> you definitely have work. I feel like you may be working too hard though. We have earth magic. Yeah, it may be an earth sign that's coming into your view, Virgo. We have meditation to dig deep. Okay, what is it that you need to meditate on? Very interesting. Meditate and give thanks. I think that you may be working too hard. You may be doing too much at this time. Just one moment. <laughs> My cat was playing with the bag and it was kind of distracting me. I'll give him this toy back after I'm done. <laughs> okay, let's get back into it, Virgo. What do we have for Virgo for December 15th through the 31st? Let's get a card from Spirit for Virgo. Wow, okay, two of them. Okay, let's see. I need to put my glasses on. Okay, first of all, we have tiger, fire. I choose to be unstoppable. My passion is my power. I am bold. I am brave. Mighty forces come to my aid. Yeah, so you're very powerful. You also have the deer and love. Be gentle with yourself. Your head, you heal with the power of love. See the light in all things. Acknowledge your self-worth and your grace. Yeah, take some time out for yourself. I, I know you're powerful, Virgo. I know that you have a lot of great power, but you also have to have a lot of great um, healing and nurturing. You also have a personal choice. Close your eyes. What animal do you imagine? What strengths are they known for? What wisdom do they share? Embrace their qualities. Very interesting. You know, I, I never, I never chose this card before. It's very interesting. The first time, first time. I didn't even know that one was in there. Okay, let's get a card from our angels. What do our angels need to say to Virgo for December 15th through the 31st? What do our angels need to say to Virgo for December 15th through the 31st? Okay, we have Ariel, new psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. 
Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation. So yeah, you're opening up your third eye. You're becoming more intuitive. You have Grace and Antoinette. To help heal the situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. So yeah, some kind of disagreement that you had. Um, Spirit is really letting you know to open up yourself to the other person's point of view. Maybe see things from new eyes. Uh, see things from new eyes in this situation. Okay. Let's take a look at the tarot. What do we have for Virgo for December 15th through the 31st? What do we have for Virgo? We have the High Priestess. Yeah, so just what I was saying, you're opening up your intuition. Okay. And we have the Three of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Okay, and we also have the Four of Swords. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Five of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, Justice. We have the Hangman. We have the Empress. And we have the Ten of Swords. Okay. At the very bottom, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like... Virgo, I feel like with this Knight of Pentacles energy... I feel like you're working way too hard. I feel like... You are maybe overdoing it a little bit and maybe you should have a little bit more patience with yourself. Patience to take time out for yourself. Give yourself a little breathing room. That's how I'm feeling with it, Virgo. I feel like maybe, you know, work is still going to be there, um, but you need to take some breathing room. Okay, I have the High Priestess, the Three of Cups and the queen of swords so i feel like you are really opening up your intuition to your situation you're trusting yourself in your situation i feel like you're surrounding yourself by your people you're maybe going through parties going through celebrations you're hanging out with your friends with your girls with your guys you are taking time out to Smell the roses is what I want to say. That's what you need to do. Take some time out for yourself. Take some time out, excuse me, to be around people. And I feel like you totally understand that concept. You totally understand that that's what needs to be done. But I feel like you're being a little stubborn about it. I feel like you want to get things done in your time. And your time is now. That's how I feel. <laughs> I'm feeling like your time is now. It's time to get this done. I'm doing it now. I feel like you're you're rushing yourself in the situation. And yes, yeah, spirit is letting you know that, you know, you need to take time out for yourself. Some time to recover. Some time to rejuvenate. Some time to sleep and rest. And, you know, everything else is still going to be there. You're not walking away from the situation. It's still there. You know, you can pick it up where you left off. And I feel like you're going to be more happier in your situation by doing that. I feel like you... You feel like if you keep something on hold or you don't finish your project, I feel like you're... You, you feel like you're not going to be recognized for the situation. You feel like all the eyes are going to be on you. But what I'm saying is, Virgo, this isn't everybody's eyes on you in a bad way. This is people noticing you. They notice how hard you work. They notice how you barely want to take a break to breathe. People notice that. 
Okay, in this next row, Virgo, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, and the Justice card. So, Virgo, I feel like you're working so hard because you feel like you're not making enough. You feel like not enough is coming in. Not enough is going to pay everything that you need to pay for. I feel like maybe you're living a little bit beyond your means. Um, but I do feel like something, some kind of message is going to come through. Some kind of information is going to come through that's going to give you some relief to the situation. I feel like some kind of idea that you have or some kind of project that is going to be that you're going to be thrown into is going to give you a new perspective on your situation and with this justice card i feel like everything that you thought was true is coming to a head I know that may sound confusing, but what I'm saying is you are, you're going to be rewarded for all your efforts. This is your good karma coming back around for you. This is, this is something that you put into action and you were waiting for a response. But I feel like the answer to your question is coming with this page of wands. I feel like all that is coming and it's going to make much more sense when it does. Now on this end row, you have the hangman, the empress, and the knight of swords. So I feel like you really want to take a different view of things. I feel like you want to gain a different perspective you want to have enlightenment and you want that so much that you're actually manifesting it you're actually instead of a need of wanting you're now in a need of accepting because i feel like okay you're putting it out there that you want this that you really want this you you're yearning for the situation to be totally complete. And I feel like the universe is letting you know, yeah, you have your completion. You're being fruitful. The emperor, she's very, she's able to manifest whatever it is that she wants. She's very fruitful. She's very fertile. She is able to create whatever she wants to create. She's also a good parent. She's a good mother. Um, it may be that you're a single mom, and that's the reason why you're working so hard. But I feel like you're very abundant. But with the Nine of Swords, I feel like even with this abundance, you're still worrying. You're still worrying, even though your needs have been met. Very interesting. Let's get some outcome cards for Virgo. What's the outcome for Virgo for uh, December 15th through the 31st? What is the outcome for Virgo? Please. Temperance. Yeah, you have your healing. You have your breakthrough. You're going to feel more balanced. You just have to stand in your flow. And I see that you're still, the outcome is you're still working hard. You won't let up. You're still working hard. You're still mastering whatever it is that you're studying. But I also see that you're doing that. You're working so hard because you're looking towards the future. You've made plans and you want to see those plans through to the end. And I noticed that. Yeah, you made plans for your happy ever after. 
And I feel like it's coming, Virgo. I feel like you have happiness. You have the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like it's coming. What else do we have for Virgo? Yeah, the Queen of Swords. I feel like... I feel like whatever thoughts and ideas that you're going to have, I feel like they're just going to come to you. They may come to you when you least expect it, but I feel like your answers to your questions, your ideas are going to come when you least expect them to. You could be doing something so domestic as you know, doing the dishes, vacuuming the floor, but I feel like something's going to come clear to you. Something's coming clear to you, and it's going to be your aha moment. But I also feel like you really don't see how self-sufficient you are. Yeah, you have the Eight of Cups as well. So there is going to be something that you're going to be walking away from. You are going to be leaving a situation. You have the Seven of Swords on the bottom. So it's definitely something that you're going to be walking away from. Um, I'm not sure what that is. But something has got you distracted. The Nine of Swords, again... So it may be your fears, it may be your doubts, it may be some kind of situation that you're walking away from. I need more clarity on this spirit. What is this Nine of Swords? Your aha moment. Yeah, these answers that you're going to receive with the Queen of Swords... They're going to lead you to walk away from a situation. They're going to lead you to just feel like it's not even worth your battle any longer. But now in this situation, you I, I do see that, you know, you do have happiness. You do have abundance. You do have your security. But I feel like there's something in your life that you're walking away from. There's something that you're leaving behind. Definitely. The Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, you're definitely leaving something behind. You're definitely leaving something behind. But what is leading you to Whatever you're leaving behind, it's leading you to fulfillment. And I think that you realize that. Definitely. I think that you realize that. Very interesting, Virgo. Let's get some manifestation cards to see what Virgo is manifesting at this time. First quarter moon in Aquarius. Trust the universe. Yeah, I feel like with this high priestess, you're trusting yourself. You're trusting your intuition. And by trusting your, your intuition, you are trusting the universe. First quarter moon in Capricorn. Unleash your kindest self. Yes, yeah, so be kind to others as well as yourself, Virgo. Be kind to yourself. Say nice things to yourself. Detoxify. Yeah, you may want to cut out the sugar, cut out, you know, whatever bad habits you may have. Maybe you smoke, maybe you drink. Um, maybe you eat too many processed foods. But you may want to go ahead and detoxify. That also goes into mind and spirit over here. Um, detoxifying your body. I feel like we have one more card. Okay. Last quarter moon in Taurus. Virgo, be proud of yourself. 
you've accomplished so very much. You work so very hard. And last quarter moon in Aries. Work through your feelings. Yes. Whatever feelings that you're harboring, work through those feelings. Find some closure in those feelings. Let's take a look at the Moonology. What do we have for the Moonology, please? What do we have for the Moonology? We have the end of a tough cycle approaches. Okay. We have nothing will come of this situation. Yeah, so I feel like this situation may resolve itself. There's nothing that you need to do. All you need to do is just walk away from the situation. And you have your Nine of Cups, your Ten of Pentacles. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Become balanced in your situation. Look to your higher power for answers. Your hard work is paying off, Virgo. New moon in Capricorn. Exactly. And bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Okay. Let's get a card from the universe. See what the universe wants to tell you. What messages do we have for Virgo? My outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. Yeah, like I said, if, you, if you're feeling negativity inside yourself, you're going to see negativity in your environment. There's just no way around it. But if you feel, if your mind, your body, your soul is in a more positive vibe, more positive vibration, um, you're going to see more positive things happen in your life. That's just the way the universe works. The universe works fast when I'm having fun. See exactly what I was saying. You know, when you're more positive, the universe works faster. The universe wants to give us what, what we want. And sometimes if we're in a negative vibration, what the universe thinks that we want is something negative. So that's exactly what the universe brings to us. The universe has no thought process of what we need or what we want. We have to put that vibration out there. I choose love no matter what. All right. Thank you, Spirit. And hope is a conduit for miracles. So, yeah, have hope in your situation. Okay. Last but not least. <clears throat> Let's take a look at what Virgo can do to overcome any obstacles or challenges that they face this month. What does Virgo need to do to overcome these challenges? Okay, gratitude. Yes, spirit of gratitude. That will do so very much. We have the spirit of gratitude up here. Gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Be grateful in whatever life brings you. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Okay. We also have balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Yes. And we have loneliness. I know that I am never alone. And one more. Indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. And actually, one wanted to fall. So that's very important as well. Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. 
Exactly. You got this. You got this, Virgo. You got this. The universe has your back. Your angels, your higher power has your back. Um, you have your victory. You have your victory. Okay, Virgo, this is your reading. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And have a wonderful December, Virgo. Many blessings to you. Love and light.